this isn't a video review, so um, I apologize, first of all, for that. This is just kind of a rant. I just wanted to touch in and uh, see how everybody's doing. So, how are you? Yeah, that was good. All right, um, basically, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that I didn't forget about you, but um, truth be told, I've run out of Transformers to uh, review anymore. Um, well, not entirely. I have three guys. You can see right in front of you right there, that's my entire collection, which you have. Um, you have Optimus Prime in the back left, followed by, uh, well, you can see them. I don't need to go through them all. But um, those are all my Transformers, except for I have Robot in Disguise, Optimus Prime, and Robot in Disguise, Ultra Magnus. Um, I got those guys when they first came out a long time ago. I don't know how long ago it was. Many moons. Um, but um, I dread with a passion transforming those guys. Um, not so much because they're hard, just because I haven't done it in so long that I'm not very fluid with it. So it's going to take me some practice to get back going with those guys, but uh, be patient because I'll eventually do them. Um, the other one that I have is, I'm not even sure what his name is. Um, I've looked him up, and the places I've found, he's from Beast Wars or something of that genre, but um, the closest I can find is a cyber, cyber shark, but he's a different color scheme, and to be honest, the ones that I've seen all look like he's um, a Maximal, which is the... Uh, now, I'm not big with Beast Wars, so if I get this wrong, correct me, but um, a Maximal is the Autobot version, the good guy side, while there's the Predacons, which are the Decepticon version, the, the bad guys. He looks more like he's a Predacon, but I'm not 100% sure. When I do the review watch it and if you know exactly who he is please let me know because I'm curious I'm tired of calling him just a shark dude but um, but yeah but that's about it um, I have been con been toying with the idea about getting a couple other um, movie figures the first is the protoform Optimus Prime only because you actually see him in protoform in the in the film itself, so I'm on the fence about that one. I've seen him in Walmart several times, and it's always one of those things where I have it in my hands, and it's like, uh, do I want it? Don't I want it? Uh, and I end up putting it down. So I don't know. Um, the other guy is Voyager Megatron, but only the Best Buy exclusive, where he's metallic color. I already despise the paint scheme in the leader class Megatron. I don't want to get another Megatron that's going to look retarded. So I'm holding off until I can find that, but I can only find it on eBay. And that the cheapest run for like $35, and then they're shipping. So you're pay paying like $40 for a $20 guy. I don't know. I got a cousin that works for Best Buy. Maybe she can find one and ship it out to me or something. I don't know. I'll figure out something. Um, but those are those are those the two movie ones that I'm considering getting. There are two other ones that I do want to get, and I will get probably here in the next month or so. And that is there's like three different versions of this guy. There's a regular Hasbro version, there's a Takara version, and then there's a 20th movie DVD version. And of course, I'm talking about Masterpiece Optimus Prime. I don't really care which one I get. I want the cheap one, the cheapest, which means it's not going to be the Takara, and it's probably not going to be the Hasbro. It's more than likely going to be the DVD version. Um, they, all, they all look the same, essentially. Now, there's different coloring, and uh, the, the, the DVD version, I think, is like an orangish red as opposed to like a fire engine red. Then there is the Takara version of, and that has taller smokestacks. The DVD version has like a circumcised, you know, version of the smokestacks. But I don't know. I really don't care. They're, they function the same. 
I'll probably end up getting that one. And then the other one is the Walmart exclusive Masterpiece Starscream. I really like that one better than the other version of Starscream out there, the Takara version I believe it is. Mostly because it's true to the G1 color scheme. And I really like that. And um, I guess that should be about a month before I find those. I see the, uh, what do you call it, the, the DVD Prime at Walmart, so maybe I'll pick that up sooner. I'm not, I'm not sure, but um, but either way, those that's what I have lined up. That's what you have to look forward to, guys. Um, I really do hope you enjoy watching my videos. I kind of ramble a lot, but um, one thing that I want to talk about, there are several reviewers that I want to kind of comment on. I guess we'll call this the review of the reviewers. That's the official name of this. First guy, I think it's fantastic. His name is Biker Trash. Biker Trash Wolf, to be exact. All one word. Does a fantastic job. Has a good many subscribers. A good many of right grammar. Shit, I don't know. Don't pay attention. Got a bunch of subscribers and does a fantastic job. Does good reviews. He reviews guys that I've never seen before that I probably would I probably have seen actually. But then I'm like, I'm not going to get no Energon bulkhead or, you know, Cybertron Ransack or whatever. Those are his two ones that he just recently did. But um, I look at him and I'm like, you know, those two actually kind of look cool. He makes me enjoy them. So Biker Trash does a fantastic job, a lot of subscribers, and he gets back to you. He's respectful, and I appreciate that. Next guy, JT Mitchell. Now, uh, JT does a fantastic job on his uh, JT87, I should be specific. Um, if you guys don't know these dudes, you probably are missing out. Yeah, I don't know. Um, does a good review. I really like him. He's got a good sense of humor. He's enjoyable to watch. He's got a psycho cat. So it's like, I have a psycho cat. I got three psycho cats, too. So feel lucky. Um, but he also seems to kind of lean maybe a little bit more towards the Power Ranger side of things. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not a big Power Ranger fan, but he does a good job reviewing all of his Transformer videos. The next guy I'm kind of going to bitch about. This guy annoys the shit out of me. I used to watch his videos. I don't anymore. Um, he's just completely obnoxious. I'll probably, I'll probably get shit for this. Matrix Prime, I don't like you, dude. I know you don't care, but uh, bottom line is you're rude. You specifically tell people that you're going to block them when they ask you questions that you don't want to answer anymore. Well, maybe if you actually sat down and organized the questions instead of just being retarded and going through and answering every single one on your comment sheet, maybe you'd have a little bit more, you know, um... Maybe you'd be more relaxed when you're doing them. I don't know. Maybe you need to get laid. I don't know. But something needs to give. You guys a backup of some stuff in you, and it's making you cranky or something. I don't know. But um, he does good reviews. His just personality sucks. And I don't watch his videos anymore for whatever reason. I don't think they're any good. Well, I, th I think they're good, but I think his personality sucks. So, yeah, I'll leave it at that. But um, other than that, guys, I just, I just want to say thanks for listening to the video. Um, you, you, you've all done, you know, I think I had a brain fart on my computer, so if it stops with the volume, I apologize. Um, I, I really want to thank all you guys. I have 19 subscribers right now, which is way more than I ever thought I would get. I have almost 11,000 video views, which is probably not a lot, but makes me feel pretty good. So I just want to say thank you and let you know that I do appreciate everything, and I'm going to be getting back into this as much as possible. I enjoy doing it. I don't see myself getting burnt out, so if that happens, it happens. It'll happen in a while, so thanks for tuning in. This is Optobotomous. If you have any questions, guys, shoot me them, and I'll answer.